Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about the Kalias uh, dashboard and um, if you don't know what it looks like just go to Kalias theme dashboard and uh, this screen will be um, shown when uh, you install the theme so if you just install the theme most likely this uh, kind of uh, wiz wizard Will uh, will appear. So the first um, the first step is um, double check the settings um, details, and ideally is to have all these checked. For example, the memory limit should be higher than uh, 30, 32 or 64 the time limit uh, the PHP time limit should be bigger the uh, PHP max uh, input vars this is a PHP value and um, as you can see here it's in my case on my local host it's huge it's normally around 300 or I think 1000 and uh, if you don't have an idea uh, if you don't know how to increase it uh, and you receive this uh, yellow uh, exclamation mark just go to Google and say uh, PHP max input bars if you want to overwrite the PHP any file or you can do it with uh, something like um, HT access PHP max input input bars actually and you get all sorts of uh, all sorts of uh, suggestions and here WordPress uh, on for example this post there are a ton of resources on how to do this you just have to locate the htaccess file in your uh, FTP and add for example this uh, this right here now you can uh, for example uh, we have uh, you you this right here is needed in a scenario like uh, big menu for example we have this uh, ginormous uh, main menu which we added for the uh, for our demo and as you can see it's very very big now we can afford this on our website because we've increased the levels of our server and we usually uh, just cache uh, our demo and leave it as is so for example um, we don't really care about the menu being so big uh, because uh, the purpose of our website is to showcase as much uh, as much as possible uh, the uh, team uh, compatibilities so for a normal website you probably get an error or cannot save the entire menu and that's not really a big issue I mean uh, it's just a regular uh, behavior we'll try to optimize this part and um, sp somehow split uh, this uh, menu or trying to find a workaround for this so back to the uh, dashboard we have the this is mandatory and if you don't have this uh, enabled it'll probably don't work even WordPress itself won't work and when installing the sample data you need this to be um, to have it checked now as you can see I have uh, this one checked so um, my computer for example is communicating well with uh, the Kalia server where the uh, demo data is uh, uh, pulled from it's not a big 
problem if you have this uh, yellow for example I don't care if I have this uh, uh, not checked but some parts will work and probably some won't for example if this was uh, uh, with an alert the uh, sample data import probably most likely won't work so it's better to have it uh, uh, enabled or checked sorry uh, on to the next step we have the um, theme registration uh, there's a video about this one you can uh, get notifications when we uh, pull new releases uh, of our Kalias theme then you have the theme add-ons and for example if you don't want to or probably won't use any of these plugins it's best to keep them uh, disabled you can also disable them from plugins and uh, just disable them uh, there this is a page where uh, as you can see uh, they're optional they're not required for uh, Kalias to work and uh, just uh, two servers uh, actually two sorry two sliders actually um, are uh, used w with uh, these uh, plugins uh, the next one is the import sample data this is where uh, you can import any demo you want you can preview them you can uh, install them of course and uh, this list should uh, be constantly updated with uh, new demos and uh, just uh, try to see the uh, video dedicated for this part called uh, import uh, uh, sample data and uh, more info is just a bunch of links with uh, either the documentation or uh, the do documentation hub or video tutorials uh, frequently asked questions and the support forums so that's about it it's actually a, an easy one uh, if you do have questions though uh, feel free to ask me and uh, if you have any problems uh, feel free to subscribe to our support forums and uh, my colleagues will uh, assist you there thanks for watching and see you in the next one